Are y'all ready to clean? I'm ready to clean. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because I am actually going to take you guys back over to my makeup collection and we are going to declutter together. Now in this video, I don't want it to be like three hours long. Um, I am going to go through each drawer with you guys, kind of say what I love, what I don't love, what I haven't used, why I haven't used it, why I love it, things like that. So we can kind of just declutter these drawers, get them a little bit more organized, and donate some things that I just don't need anymore. You know what I mean? I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see this and a lot of you said yes. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and let me know down below if you liked this declutter video. It's a little bit something different for my channel. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right guys so this is my makeup collection we have all this down here and then right here this is mainly the stuff that I use the most things that are out of the package things that I've tried this little guy that was sitting right there is actually what I keep on my desk so when I'm done filming I put the stuff back in here so I can do 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 Hi, beautiful. Don't mind the little sports bra on the ground. Hi, gorgeous. Is it cleaning day for mama? You gonna help? I got all these at the container store. Um, I need another one of these because I love this the most for like foundations, primers, things like that because it is so deep that you can have all your foundation sitting up like that. And yeah, I really like it. So I want another one of these maybe for like powders or my concealers because my concealer drawer is getting a little crazy. But maybe once we declutter will be a little bit better. Yeah, I got eyeliners, mascaras in here. These are like just extra NARS foundation. Let's start with foundations. Foundations um, is one of my favorite things about makeup. I love a full coverage foundation and yeah, I feel like I've had some of these foundations for forever. Honestly, I've had them for so long that it's good for me to go ahead and get rid of them because they're probably bad by now because makeup does go bad. They're probably bad by now so I probably need to get rid of them and just purchase new ones. That way I don't break out. This is the drugstore bin. My most current bin. So let's see what we got. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I have two of these. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep one shade. Looking at them, this looks more like it'd be my shade. So I'm gonna keep this one, donate this one. So you know, I'm not throwing anyway, anything away unless it's expired. Um, we have some CoverGirl foundations. I love this foundation. Um, Classic Ivory Creamy Natural. These aren't my shades. I think I was sent these in PR, so I'm gonna donate these and get my correct shade. Pro Foundation Mixer. This is one that makes it a little bit more warm. I've had this for forever and I feel like I just need to go ahead and get rid of it. I've been using my Catrice one anyways much more and I just need to get rid of that. Also going to get rid of these Dermacol foundations. I never ever use these. I just use them for videos. So time to donate those. I am going to keep this foundation because I'm still trying it out. I got it when I was in Canada. Um, same with this Catrice one. I just got this not too long ago, so I'm going to keep using that. This LA Colors Truly Matte, um, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm actually going to go ahead and donate these because I just don't ever use them. I just don't think they're the best. So, I think I have another one in here. Yes. I'm just going to donate these. I love the Better Skin. What shade is this? Soft Honey. I'm going to keep this shade. Um, this one's in ivory that will probably never match me, so I'm going to go ahead and donate that. I'm going to keep all of my Pro Matte Foundations. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. And then I'm also going to go ahead and keep, I'm going to keep Natural Beige. This is the one I've used the most anyway, so we'll just keep that. Moving on to the Maybelline Fit Me, I have two colors. This one definitely looks a little bit too red, so I'm going to keep this shade right here, which is Soft Tan donate this one. I haven't decided what to do with this yet, so I'm just leaving it over here. Then we have Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundations. Um, I've had these for forever. I honestly feel like they're expired by now, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these and just try to purchase new ones if they have them. Um, if they don't have them, I'll cut my losses, but I'm pretty sure these are bad by now. I've had them for so long. These are amazing foundations, though. If they come back out with these, definitely get them. I same goes for these bad boys. I love the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Foundations. I'm going to keep this one since I haven't used it yet. But these that I have used I know are incredibly old. Like years old. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss them. And this foundation is still around so you can definitely get your hands on it. Another Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. I know I've had this one for forever. I'm actually going to keep this one. This is the one I believe I use the most in the shade... 
um, medium 2.5. So I'm going to get rid of medium zero right here. I'm going to keep the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows foundation as well as this Revlon Insta Filter because I still kind of like want to try this out and I got it not too long ago. And of course, keeping the Maybelline Better Skin. We have this Catrice All Matte Plus. I'm pretty sure I didn't like this foundation. I'm pretty dang sure I didn't if I did oopsie so before I toss it I'll look it up but I never use this foundation this high-end foundation drawer is about to be crazy this has the most so we have the double wear one in two don't know why this is I don't know this color so I'm kind of interested to see it looks very light that is definitely not my shade, which is probably why I've never used it. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I'm actually still trying these. I have neutral medium and then neutral tan. So this one's just a little bit lighter than this. I am going to keep these because I'm still testing them out. We also have these peach out. <laughs> we also have the Peach Perfect Foundations from Too Faced. I I love this foundation. I think it's amazing. I have four shades, light beige, neutral beige, warm beige, sand. <laughs> I can definitely tell I use sand a lot, so I'm going to keep sand, also warm beige, and then I'll keep light beige. So I'm keeping light beige, warm beige, and sand. And I can definitely mix and match those colors, and I will donate natural beige. Because have I used this one? No, I haven't used this. Alrighty, we got Hourglass Stick Foundations. Obsessed with Hourglass Stick Foundations. I love these. I'm definitely going to keep both of them. Also have the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. This one's in light medium. This is pretty good, but honestly, I never really use BB creams. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that. Now we have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I did not like this on me. I felt like it was super heavy. Um, I just wasn't a big fan of it. Sorry, Laura Mercier. I love your new concealer though. <laughs> Moving on to the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. Look at how much of that foundation I have used. I do really like this foundation. I don't use it a lot at this moment. I kind of feel like it's pretty old. Yeah, it's like not even moving. It's not moving from where it's from. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just toss these in the trash. I've had them for a really long time. But this is a really great foundation if you want medium buildable coverage. Heart Shape Tape. You guys have been asking me all about this. I think you guys know why I haven't done a video. And I'm actually going to keep these. I'm going to keep these for a future video one day whenever I feel the time is right. I don't mind this foundation. I don't think it's the absolute best, but it's not terrible. But I'm going to keep these for a future video. Oh, yeah. Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation. We have Almond and Latte. Almond, I believe, is just... Whoa, look at it. Look at it moving in there. You see that? It's like water. What in the world? Almond is not my shade at all. Latte is more close to my color. So I'm going to keep Latte. I'm still trying to find like my perfect shade with this Jouer foundation. All right, we have Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. This is not my favorite foundation. Um, I think it looks okay on the skin, but it's just one of those things where it was a lot of money, and I'm trying to figure out why. Not my favorite, as well as the Designer Lift one. This one, I know a lot of people with like dry skin, normal kind of combo love this. I'm very oily. This makes me oily. It just doesn't work for me, so um, I'm actually going to donate these two. Estee Lauder Double Wear. We have four in one. One, and then a 3W1 Tawny. These are my two shades. Um, I'm going to keep four in one, but I'm going to toss this one because I've had it forever and it's just, it's just gross. Then we have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I bought this and I still have not used it. I've used it before. It used to be one of my all-time favorite products, but I've had this for so long and I still have not used it. So I think I'm going to save this for a, um, what's it called? Throwback Throwdown that I used to do. I would just keep that bit longer. Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. You can't even get it anymore. There's no point in keeping it, so goodbye. And let's see. Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. Um, this was not full coverage to me, but I'm going to try it out a little bit more. It wasn't my all-time favorite, but it wasn't terrible, so I'll keep you updated, but it's definitely not full coverage. Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. Yeah, this one's a little too heavy for me. I never gravitate towards it. I think it's just too much for me, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. And we have this Stellar Foundation. Um, I don't even know what it's called. It just looks like this. I did not like this foundation. It made my skin look horrible. It looks so similar to the Huda Beauty Foundation. 
Um, but Huda is way better. This one just made my skin look terrible, so goodbye. Huda Beauty, just talked about it. I love it. This is such a full coverage foundation. Um, looks great on the skin to me. I'm definitely going to continue to use this. I'm going to get rid of the Smashbox Studio Skin. Natasha Denona Foundation X. I used to love this foundation. Can you tell by how beat up it is? I think I'm going to get rid of it. And then if I want to try it again down the road, I will. I think it's just old because when Davis picked this out for the video we did, which I will link in a card, just didn't perform the way I remembered it performing, you know? So I think it's old. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, the, the reason why I have so many of this next one is because it came in PR. I don't know why I decided to keep all of them. But it is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I love this foundation. I have three, six, nine shades. I know. Look, okay. I know that's too much. I did keep them. Actually, a, one of my shades, my perfect shade, I can't even remember what it was anymore. I have to look it up on my videos. One of my perfect shades broke, and it broke in one of my Louis Vuitton makeup bags. I've been super bitter about it, um, because my Louis Vuitton makeup bag is now covered in foundation, and it's been such a bitch to try to get off. I do love this foundation, though. It looks beautiful. Such a gorgeous foundation. Um, I'm going to go through these shades really quickly and try to find ones that I think will work for me. I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, and then this is B50, B45 again, so I still, I have doubles of some, so... Um, I'm just going to keep these three. So the shades I'm keeping is B40, B45, B50. I feel like that would be perfect for me in my self-tan. These six can be donated. All right, and then we have this Givenchy Matisse May Velvet. Um, wow, I don't really remember how I feel about this. I haven't used it much. I'm going to keep it in here. It must not be that good <laughs> if it's in the back. I'm going to try it just a little bit more because it was expensive before I completely toss it. Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I'm going to donate this because it's not my color at all. It's Camel 7 and it just, I haven't been able to try it because it's not my color. All right, now we got these NARS foundations. I love this foundation. This one's obviously my shade. Can you see how much I've used of that? This is in Barcelona. It's like my perfect shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then I'm also going to keep, let's see. And then I'm also going to keep this one, which is Santa Fe. It's a little bit darker, or I'm sorry, it's a little bit lighter than these two, so I can mix and match to make them my perfect shade. Goodbye. We'll donate you. Wow, that was a purge right there, you guys. So I want to say I noticed how long this video is getting. I'm going to do just foundations, concealers, and primers today. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will go through and we'll do powders, bronzers, blushes next, and then like highlighters, da 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 da. So give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, now let's get on the primers. We got high-end primers, drugstore primers. We have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Definitely keeping that as well as the Smashbox Lid Primer. Um, I'm going to get rid of this Canon Austin Primer because it's super, super old. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this because I do have a new one right here. Thank the Lord. So, goodbye. You already know. We're going to keep that. <laughs> also going to keep my Natasha Denona Magic Primer and the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Welcome back. No Porblem Primer. I didn't really notice a difference with this. Um, I bought it because a lot of people raved about it, but it just, it, I don't know, it didn't really do much for me, so we're going to donate this one. And this is a new Tatcha Primer that came out, and I'm going to keep this because I'm still trying it out. What do I want to do with this? How long have I had this product? I've had this forever. How long do oils last? Is there like an expiration date on this thing? Um, I am going to keep this because I like the way it makes my skin feel. I wouldn't repurchase if that helps you, if that helps you with purchasing this. Oh yeah, we've got the Guerlain Lore, what is this, like gold fleck primer? I tried this, you guys. I really did. I just don't see it I don't know it doesn't really do much for me I got it because a lot of people raved about it but I'm not obsessed with it so maybe one of my friends will love it I am going to keep this this is the julep blank canvas mattifying treatment primer just tried this not too long ago it's not bad um, I'm going to toss this I've had it forever it used to be one of my absolute favorite primers CNAR smudge proof eyeshadow base it's really really good if you got oily eyelids you will love this I have been using the smashbox one more just because it has a tint to it but if you like a clear primer and you have oily eyelids and you're just having an issue finding one that works for you, this one's fantastic. Um, ugh, the Dior Skin Everwear 
primer. I'm going to get rid of this. I didn't notice a difference with this at all. It's like a really sad day because that was stupid expensive. The Algenis Pore Corrector. I didn't notice a difference with this either for me personally. Like I am more of, I'd rather have a mattifying primer than a pore filler to be honest with you. And a lot of these pore fillers are awful on my oily skin. So I'm going to go ahead and just donate that one because I never use it. This is a Tarte Poreless. It's also a mattifying primer. I have not tried this much. I need to try more so I'm going to keep that as well as this Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. Every time I spray this, it scares me, but um, yeah, I still want to try it because it is new. So we have the Bosha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. I feel like I've had this forever, so I am just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Again, I haven't used this. I used to love it. Like This would be all I used, this in the primer water, which I still really do like this, but I never use it, so I'm just going to donate that to someone, as well as this, the Estee Edit. I don't even think they're a thing anymore, so sorry, Estee Edit. You're gone. And then we also have the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. I hate sprays for my face. I don't know what it is. I just can never work with them, so I'm going to go ahead and donate that. On to the drugstore. This Catrice primer, it was nice, like if you want something that makes you look like you're glowing, but it really didn't do much for me. Just gonna get rid of that. As well as the Stila, this should have been in the high end drawer. This Stila One Stepped Correct. I am just gonna donate this because I never use it, even though it looks so cool. This Dermacol Matte Control, I'm gonna donate this too. Didn't notice a big difference with it, so goodbye. And this is an Aesthetica Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. I got this off of Amazon for a video. It's, it's okay. We'll just put that in there. L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. I never really noticed a huge difference with this primer. Um, I'm going to keep it just to try it out a little bit more. But to be honest with you, don't see much with it. You have a F Pro Foundation Mixer in Olive. I am going to keep this one. And then this NYX Soft Focused Tinted Primer. I did not... You are so funny. How are you? Mommy's almost done. Is that okay? I did not like this at all. It made me so oily. We're going to donate that. Same with this guy. This is the Master Prime Blur and Smooth. I'm just going to get rid of that. Oh, we're getting rid of these, huh? Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti Shine Base. I don't remember what I think of this. So I'm going to keep that. You already know we're keeping that. Um, I'm also going to keep these Transforming Drops. This glitter primer. This is some lightning drops, so keeping those two. And then this is a eyeshadow primer. Really like that from Maybelline. And then this is a Catrice eyeshadow base. I'm going to keep this because I haven't tried it out enough to go ahead and let it go. Sorry, drugstore. I need some more good primers from you. Were you barking at the UPS man? Where's your sister? Is she downstairs laying down, watching TV? Concealers. Yes, yes, yes. I have a ton of Tarte Shape Tape concealers because they send so many in PR and I am so grateful, but I need to donate some. So I'm going to keep one that's kind of closer to my skin tone, which is medium. I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to donate the rest of these, but I will keep one light medium for myself. rest of these. This is too dark. I'm going to keep this one because it looks like I've used it quite a bit. Um, we have the Becca Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Ultra Long Wear Concealer. Um, I'm going to donate this one in 1N, but I'm going to keep 2W. This one in 2W is more of my shade to highlight under the eyes, so I am going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this because I used to love this uh, concealer, and I kept it in the box because this was in my products refill drawer, and I want to try it again, so I want to see if I love it, you know. Again, so we're going to keep this one. Obsessed with this concealer. We're keeping it. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Oh my god, you guys. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have quite a few of these. I'm just going to keep one shade that works best for me. And it's going to be Medium Ginger. So I'm going to keep one of these and then give away the rest of them. Same. This one's definitely been used a bit. I'm going to throw that away. Going to donate this again. See, there's a lot of shape tape. Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer. I have not tried this enough. I didn't even know this is in the drawer, to be honest with you. So, I am going to keep this and try it out some more. And then, we have the It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting Concealer. This is old, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to toss this. We also have this Hourglass Stick 
concealer. I need to try this out a little bit more too. I bought it not too long ago. It's in the shade Natural. So I'm going to keep that and try it out. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I'm just going to donate this because I never use that. Smashbox Concealers. Oh my gosh, I used to love these, you guys. So I'm going to keep one of them. I'll keep Light Medium. This one right here. But donate these. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep this too. Um, Bobbi Brown Concealer in Sand. Instant Full Coverage Concealer. I don't remember how I like this. Um... Ooh, yes I do. I remember this doe foot. I hated it. Literally, the doe foot is what I remember the most about it. Urban Decay Naked Skin. I know this is old. It's got to go. This is like a trash one. Um, Pretty Vulgar. I never use this, but again, very old. Tossing that. Or no, wait. Oh, this is Laura Mercier. Oh, I liked this one. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. This one's in the shade 1. And then the number 7 Radiant Concealer. Oh, this is Drugstore. But we're going to get rid of this too. And then we have the Givenchy Concealer Pencil. Oh my gosh, I used to really like this one. I'm going to get rid of it because I never use it. And then again, another Naked Concealer. I just know this is so old. On the drugstore. So I have this Physician's Formula Full Coverage Concealer. I didn't like this one, so I'm going to donate that. I have another one right here. I'm just going to trash this one because I know it's very old. This Koki one did not have enough coverage for me. It's another one of those sponges. I'm just going to trash this instead of donating it. But yeah, this wasn't my favorite cushion concealer. No. We have this one from Catrice. This is the concealer palette. I didn't mind this one, especially for this one to cancel out my darkness. So I am going to keep this as well as keep the Flower Beauty concealers. You guys already know I love these concealers so much. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I am going to toss this one just because it's so old. I mean, you can tell... I've used so much of this concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. It's so, so, so good. I have another one in my product refill drawer down below. So whenever I want to go back to it, I definitely can. But I have used the shit out of this concealer. Now we have the Master Conceal from Maybelline. I do like this one. Um, I find as I try other concealers, this one is just a little too heavy for me. Um, this is in the shade Light. It can be very heavy if you're not careful. So I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. This this is the Wet n Wild Correction Stick. No, no, no. This didn't do nothing for me. Next up, we have the Lottie London Got It Covered in Fawn and Shell. I quite honestly cannot remember if I like these or not, but I'm going to keep them just in case I really like them. Essence Camouflage Concealers. No, I did not like these. These are so heavy on my skin. These are um, full coverage concealers, and they just didn't work for me. But uh, I know a lot of people that love them, so try them out. Flawless Under Eye Concealer. I am just going to get rid of this because ugh, look at this. Look, look at that. It's so gross. It's definitely old, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Maybelline Butter Skin Concealers. I am going to keep these because I really like them. And then we also have this. I have not actually used it, but I put it in here so I would use it. It's the Camouflage Cream, and it's the salmon colored one to like cancel out your dark circles. And then we also have the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer. I do like this one. I'm going to keep it, try to use it a little bit more um, before it goes bad. All right, you guys. So we have gotten rid of quite a bit of stuff in our concealer drawer. Wow, you can see everything. It looks so good. Our primers. We've got it all nice and updated. Not too many colors. So, yeah, this is all the makeup I am giving away. That is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked this video because then I will take you through the rest of my drawers and we'll make this like a series so we can declutter and get these extra things out of my life. <laughs> So I'm so grateful for all the makeup that I get and PR and all of that, but I have to say it's just not practical to keep every single shade or every single thing. So it's always good just to donate or give to your friends and family so they can enjoy it and get some use out of those products. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!